Welcome to the Introduction to Conducting a Systematic Review workshop. This section of the workshop covers review questions. Once you've determined that there is a need for a systematic review on a certain topic, you will need to define and create your review question that will help you determine what will be the focus of your review and what literature is eligible to be included in the review. When you are crafting your research question, you should need to identify the main purpose of the review, and you should do this in a way that's specific enough that you will be able to create clear inclusion and exclusion criteria and know what articles are eligible to be included in the review and sh what should be included in your search for the literature and what should clearly be excluded. To help with this, you should think about who is and is not included in your population of interest, what your intervention or exposure or other elements are of interest to you, as well as specific outcomes that are of interest. Also think about other elements that would lead articles to be included or excluded in your review, such as the types of literature, and um, the language of the literature and other elements. You also need to make sure that your review question is based on an identified gap in the literature. So we recommend doing background searches in PubMed or other relevant literature databases to see what existing reviews are available on the topic and if there is anything already that you need to determine how your review will be unique and how your review question is based upon a gap and not readdressing reviews that have already been recently conducted. It's often helpful when creating your review question to use a research question framework such as PICO or others. There are more than 25 of these frameworks available and that are on the systematic review guide on the HSL website. These frameworks can help you make sure that you're including all the elements of that you would want to include in your research question. A common one is PICO for interventional questions. This example shows the process from a broad topic to a specific research question with the PICO elements identified, population, intervention, comparison, and outcome. Using the PICO framework can help you make sure that all the elements that are important for your review are included in the review question and can help you move from review question to the key concepts upon which you will want to base your literature search. The next section of the workshop will focus on the scope of the review. So moving from your question to your detailed review protocol that you will use to lay out all of the work plans for your systematic review.